Fresh, born Byron Otto Thomas on March 20th, 1969 in New Orleans, Louisiana. He was raised downtown in the seventh ward by his mother, who was a teacher, and his father was a local popular street DJ, DJ Sabu. He nicknamed his son Manny because of his managed ways. He was Manny's biggest inspiration and the reason why he got into music. But I had an understanding of how music went, like the structure of it or whatever, from my dad or whatever. So I started messing around with drum machines, started copying bass lines or whatever. Instead of getting toys for his birthday or Christmas, his parents bought him instruments. He got turntables, keyboards, drum machines, and more. As he grew older, he went with his dad to some of his shows. He helped him move and set up his equipment and would usually leave right after. One day after setting up his dad's equipment, he had to stay a little longer, giving him a chance to see his dad perform. He became inspired to DJ after seeing how his dad was able to control the crowd with his music. From that point on, he knew he wanted to be a DJ. A lot of his early work was inspired by DJ Curtis Mantronic from the New York hip-hop and electro-funk group Mantronics. When he was 15, he joined the group New York Incorporated. The group consisted of Manny Fresh, his friend DJ Wop, Dia X, and DJ Wop's cousin, Denny D, who was from New York. Collectively, they hosted house parties, school events, and local clubs all over town. In the late 1980s, while interning at a local studio, he was given the opportunity to produce his first track. He recruited New Orleans rapper MC Gregory D. The two formed a group, and together they released the album Throwdown in 1987, and D rose the nation in 1989. Due to a cultural shift in the music and creative differences, many left the group after the release of their third album, The Real Deal, in 1992. In 93, he met Brian Baby Williams, better known as Birdman, co-founder of Cash Money Records. Manny would become in-house producer for the label. He mainly produced bunk speeds for the early Cash Money artists such as UNLV, PMW, Mr. Ivan, Miss T, Lil Slim, and the list goes on. Going forward, the label signed new artists BG, Lil Wayne, Juvenile, and Turk, collectively known as the Hot Boys. They also formed the group Big Timers, which consisted of Baby and Manny Fresh himself. After the release of the Big Timers album, How You Love That, released on March 3rd, 1998, they attracted the attention of Universal Records and signed a deal for distribution. They reached mainstream success with the release of Juvenile's album, 400 Degrees, released November 3rd, 1998, through Cash Money and Universal Records. It was produced entirely by Manny Fresh and contained two of Juvenile's biggest hits, Ha, huh? which was remixed by Jay-Z, and Back That Ass Out, which peaked at number 19 on the Billboard Hot 100. The album since then has been certified four times platinum by the IRAA. They hit the billboards once again, peaking at number 36 after releasing the single Bling Bling off of BG's album Chopper City in the Ghetto, which also went platinum. From 1998 to 2004, Manny handled production on nine platinum albums for Cash Money Records. Some of these albums include Hot Boys, Guerrilla Warfare, Juvenile, G-Code, Lil Wayne, The Block Is Hot, and The Big Time As I Got That Work. He also produced eight gold albums. Some of those include BG Checkmate, Lil Wayne Lights Out, the soundtrack for the Cash Money movie Bala Blockin', Turk Young and Thuggin', and The Big Time Is Big Money Heavyweight. On December 21st, 2004, he released his debut and only solo album on Cash Money called The Mind of Manny Fresh. It peaked at number 47 on the Billboard 200, selling over 70,000 copies in the first week. But the following year, he left Cash Money due to internal issues with compensation. But it didn't stop there. Manny acquired a position at Def Jam through Jay-Z. Outside of Cash Money, he produced records for Young Jeezy, T.I., Webby, Bun B, Gucci Mane, Trina, Rick Ross, and so much more proving himself as a solid producer in the game. Currently, he's doing what he loves, DJing all over the world. He will always be a staple in the New Orleans music culture and has blessed us with many hits. Manny lives and breathes hip-hop and has stood the test of time. For that, we give Manny Fresh his flowers. <laughs>